I want to show you how to use the Revenue and Expense Deferral module in Dynamics GP to create a simple Sales Revenue Deferral. First, let's take a look at the setup. If I go to Tool Setup, it's in the Financial area. Let's look at the Deferral Setup. There's basically two methods. One is called the Balance Sheet method. This is a more simple method. And the second one is Profit and Loss. This adds another le level of transactions that help better control the deferral process. Most people use the profit and loss. I'm going to use the balance sheet because it's a little more simple and we'll take a look at that now. Also, in the deferral expense and revenue module, you can use profiles to make data entry a little easier. We'll take a look at a profile here. This is a profile that I set up earlier. It's a three-year profile and what it's going to do is it's going to defer the revenue out for 36 periods. It's only active in the sales order processing module and specifically for the sales distribution type. And what you can see here is I've set up a deferral account. This is the unearned income. This is a balance sheet account that the full amount of the invoice is going to be charged to when I post the invoice. And then on a regular basis going forward, revenue is going to be recognized on this account here. I've set this specific profile to be 36 months in, in length and we'll take a look at it in action. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a sales transaction, specifically an invoice. Put it in the batch here. And it's going to be for software. And let's say the cost of the software is $30,000. Now the revenue for this software is going to be billed one time initially, but the revenue I want to recognize over a 36 month period. So to do that, I'm going to use the revenue and expense deferral module. Let's go to the distributions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this amount here, $30,000, and defer it for 36 periods. What I want to do is instead of going right to sales this account here, I'm going to select my deferred income account that I have in my profile. And then I'm going to select the profile by going up to additional and select deferral profile. And this one is set up as a default for my user ID. And you can see that it's going to start on this date here. It's going to go for 36 periods. And you can see the deferral amounts here. Because what this module does is it creates GL posting transactions out into the future based on your setups here and your dollar amounts here. And what it's going to do is it's going to, in this case, it's going to debit this deferral account for these amounts and it's going to recognize the revenue in this account as a credit. So I'm going to allocate this deferral against this particular distribution. Hit OK. And now let's take a look at the edit list. Here's the edit list and it clearly shows the transactions each period going forward for 36 periods the debit and the credit to recognize the revenue for this particular sale. Let's go back to that sales transaction. I'm going to take it out of the batch and post it. and Then we'll take a look at the reporting that comes with the module. The reporting for this module is really quite simple, but it's also quite useful. Let's take a look at it. If I go to Reports, Financial, Deferral, what I've done here is I've set up a report for deferred revenue. And I'm going to look at posting date as of December. Now, if you recall, this invoice was posted in April. And what this report is going to show is it's going to show all the posted transactions up through December. And it's going to show one amount that is excuse me, still deferred and not yet recognized. So let's run that report. Here's what it looks like. You can see the individual transactions for each month here. These are the recognized income coming out of the deferred income account. And here's the amount yet to be recognized as of the date that I specified in the report, which was December. So the revenue and expense deferral module is really quite easy to use. I'll show you an example where it was reused for the revenue. 
piece. But you can also use it for expense. So maybe you might have prepaid expenses for insurance or some other cost like that. You can use the same module and defer those transactions out into the future. If you haven't used this module yet, you might think of when you could possibly use it within your organization. It's really quite easy to use.